once I was influenced by my previous designs and simultaneously moved by the way Sarah Colvin interpreted my Act 4 project during a recent review as a landscape project which I can shape and reshape an area to create parks, playgrounds, leisure and trading space. This is in tune with my suggestion of growing cows through the means of an interchangeable permaculture in order to sustain a small enterprise like my chosen business, the Bovine Chop Chop. Before I take to our new design project for Act 5, I want to take a step back and revisit my intention sketch for Act 4 to draw from there an important beginning before I touch on the Scoptex by Dr. Tanya Zak. The intention of my previous project was to understand the agency and interdependencies which allow my bovine trader the opportunity to trade in his daily awarded space. The result was a pyramid form hierarchy of ownership, leaving the trader vulnerable in if its trading space could not be negotiated on the day. I want to turn this pyramid of agency onto its side and when looking through this structure see an integrated wheel of success for any community to adopt when placing this idea into a given landscape. Another significant turn in my design thinking was the time we spent in Stephen Hobbs' studio. Here I explored the symbol of movability and adaptability through the making of a mask, a removable adaptable object of disguise. I interpret the mask to become the facade of my building which in turn was a structure of immobility but which had the potential to withstand the onslaughts of a very harsh environment. I used the stance as a filter to translate my intentions for Act 5 when reading the SCOP text. Through reading SCOP, I extracted the interdependencies of these self-acclaimed businesses in, and I quote, because Monday the avatar slaughters, it means that the deliveries to nearby butchers don't happen and shopping carts full of cow heads are not pushed around all morning. So for that today, her business relies on retrieving skins from a few frozen heads that are sharing the space with the smoky fire, unquote. This is a reference where I can extract any business to become the facade of my building intention, in this case, the bovine. When recognizing a landscape for this to happen, it is evident that the multiple layers of the Casadna building provide concrete floors where a new combination landscape of, and I quote, City's dust and run off, and the midden of bone fragments, hair and skin, there are traces of many people living here and who worked here. Unquote. The infrastructure these so called businesses need is a kind of infrastructure that is rather supported by the landscape and is placed within instead of being not accepted due to their out of the ordinary traded goods. I quote. Everything here is money, as the meat is loosened and is tossed into gaping bags at the butcher's feet watching closely as the skulls are cracked and the jaw bones are flung away from the table and the skins are piled next to the bags of meat." Unquote. I reinterpret my new built model and observe where all the points of connections are and imagine it with the following text. And I quote, Wishes for a place where business could normalize, where people can buy this food from clean stalls. Now we are being forced to do these in other places. And if they are moved again, uh, if they move us again, we're going to find another place, unquote. So that I can create these aspects of lives. The lives are so resilient that they can be taken anywhere else at a drop of a pin. And I want to cater for this move in my building envelope. When the atmosphere of such a trade is considered, I look at the following text and I quote, We do this job because we are looking for a job to survive why we are here and why we work hard to send money home." Unquote. From this I'm focusing my gaze on one of the connection points of my building, which I titled Trading Pot. Here a trader is selling a fraction of the life he has to endure in order for a customer to see only the good in it and to enjoy. A demarcated space will be created for this business to flourish. For my proposition I envisage a space where I can walk through a production machine where cows are produced outside in a provided field, an interdependency, a multiple level shopping center where all the products are produced are on display in a landscape where capital is generated through making each item to be sold, the infrastructure, where the resilience of the trader is celebrated through lives 
and you can choose your bovine delicatessen off the slowly passing, ever producing shelf. And this all in Nara's art. A proposition collage was made for the next design session on Thursday. <laughs>